All right. So the first song on February 17th, 2024 in the Art Museum. I think it was right around 3.30. Uh, I mean, 2... 2.33 or something. It was... U2. Started out with U2. Which was God Part 2. The second song was U2 again. And it was In God's Country. The third song was Duran Duran, Come Undone, the song about the fishes and stuff. The fourth song was The Cure, Just Like Heaven, it said he, he, uh, he's in love, fell in love her at, at the top when I went over the video. The fifth song was... You're Better Than The Real Thing by U2 again. So it's the third U2 song. That was the fifth song. The sixth song was The Verve. And that was Bittersweet Symphony. As he's walking in the art museum, people are cutting in front of him, gang stalking him. Or uh, he's walking in the streets. I'm walking in the art museum. The seventh song... The seventh and eighth and ninth. So the seventh song was Maisie Star. Mazzy, Maisie. Maisie Star, Fade Into You. Where she said, I looked at you and I saw nothing. Because I really didn't see anything lining up. Up to the point when she said that, I, I didn't see anything. I'm like, wow, this must be the song that I that I'm not going to see anything and that might be the point and then so that was the seventh song then the eighth song was Cranberries Linger ninth song was U2 again so that was the fourth U2 song which was Gloria so he's singing glory 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 hallelujah the tenth song was blocked uh, by Mr. Uh, Mr. But I made sure I I made it work anyway. Mr. Mr. Broken Wings. And then the 11th song was by Depeche Mode. Enjoy the silence. Alright. I finished the seventh I finished the 11th song. But Right when I was starting it, about a minute in, Depeche Mode, he uh, he sat down, he took his seat, as I'm showing you the horse in the in the art museum with the guy sitting on top of it, same direction, and he took his seat at 3:30, which means from that point on, 3:30, I can go back. To the very beginning on 323 2023 when I started this this journey of traveling through time reaching into a portal and taking the past videos out and creating a, a, a lineup that not that I knew that that's what was gonna happen I was just my intentions were to make music videos I didn't realize I had already done that previously at some point because that's what that's what you see with the art museum footage. Now, just understand this as I'm talking. I'm not trying to convince anybody. It doesn't matter if you can see it or not. I'm showing God and his children and the demons that know that they're getting tormented before their time. That's who I'm showing. This isn't about... You gotta believe what I'm telling you. Look! Look! I don't have to convince anybody, and I'm not trying to... I don't even need validation for this one. 
the first time because I truly didn't understand how it's possible. So I'm looking, and the next day Jonathan Clegg gets up, and he confirms it. Eight days after the art museum footage, Derek Bros gets up. He confirms it. Because the first thing he shows is the art museum blinking and flashing and, and then saying about five years ago, a clarion call, and that nothing is a coincidence. Stephen James was talking about they were trying to uh, steal the time, their time bandits. So that was three confirming witnesses right there. Uh, yesterday... Steve Benoon did a video. I, I believe it was a previous video from before. I remember hearing similar words. It was on the Steve Benoon channel, so which means it was uploaded on the. It was uploaded on the. See how he door dashed. It was uploaded on, the Patreon channel. And the very first thing, in the title is about faith. So as I'm thinking, I didn't even say this out loud. The moment I decided to have faith on February 17th, 2024, two days ago. The moment I decided my faith, I wanted to record this beforehand because I already experienced something. I know it's true. There's not a damn person you could not put a gun to my head and say, denounce what your belief or we're putting a bullet in your head. Please don't tease me. Same thing around this time. So as I'm saying, you know, whatever, however Jonathan Clegg puts it, he says the Lord told him this and the Lord told him that. Well, Obviously, it doesn't sound... It, it sounds like, in a way, prideful, and in another way, fake. Because the Lord is telling him this, the Lord's telling him that, and he's telling Corey and Zach, and it's like, weird, you know, and, and all these things that, that the Lord is telling him to do. I mean, maybe, um, maybe he's telling you the truth, where the Lord... Because you know how the Lord talks to you people? Well, the Gangstalk Corporation, it, it, it's in your head, it's in your ear, it's, um, I'm, I don't hear anything, I don't hear audio, nothing. What I hear is just what I think in my brain. If, if I have a brain, I don't know, I could just be a chip baby. It is ironic though, the middle of my forehead has that, if you look at a credit card, and look on the back of a credit card, and you'll see how that chip it's like it's sunken in and there's like a groove there. You can't really feel it so much on the back of a credit card. Right? You can't really feel it so much. The chip. At all. But you can see it indented. That's kind of what my forehead reminds me of. Like there's a chip in my brain. <clears throat> and um... So anyway... This time around, you want to call it the Lord, you want to call it God, you want to call it the Holy Spirit, you want to say Jesus is talking to me, you want to say the Lord God is talking to me, or do you want to just say that my thoughts, what I thought with my own thoughts, I decided I am going to go in an art museum this time. I'm going to do it. It's This is going to be round two. Now, I went into the art museum before, and I played, I played my old videos that I had already lined up with you two as a, as a combination package. I already, I played the YouTube videos and my footage side by side, and then I went to art museum on October 9th, 2023 recorded it again, and then I showed how those similarities lined up, and that was the motivation for me to go into the art museum two days ago to do it for the second time, meaning 
this time around, I'm gonna I'm gonna play another random shuffle, starting out with you two. I didn't know it was gonna drift off into seven other kings, but it did. So, but before that, my faith says, Robin, tell the people, record it, say it beforehand, because you already know that when you go in there, it's going to happen. It's going to happen regardless if you say it or not. So you might as well just say it beforehand and then go in the art museum do it again. Record footage. Play play a random shuffle of certain songs in the background. This time, don't go from east to west because you already did that. This time, go from north to south. This time, keep the phone up like this. That way it can be from top to bottom because that's how things are going to line up. It's going to be as above, so below this time instead of east to west, side side by side. You know how when Bono looked over and he was looking at China? Well, it only lined up because I had my footage to the left and his footage to the right. This time it's from, from top to bottom. So, I said in the video, my faith tells me that I'm going to go in here I'm going to play a random shuffle by you two, and the imagery is going to line up with mine once again. And this video should be on the world news. It should be worldwide that there's a person out there on YouTube. Not only does he claim that he's a time traveler, but he's proven to you how he's traveling through time by recording it. Your eyes can either see it or they don't want to see it. You may even have seen some stuff in the first bunch on 3-23-2023, my wife's 48th birthday. You might have seen some things that lined up then, but this time around, you're like, nah, nah, come on, Robin. It's, it, you know, but, but, come on. Because it's more frightening now. You know why? Because it's not just you two. Not that it was before, because it was Scorpion too with the shadow. And it was also Aerosmith, the very beginning of where he's showing the shark when I went through the same park. And even, um, even uh, uh, the dream song, she keeps her visions to herself, Fleetwood Mac. There was a portion of that, but I didn't really get into it because she blocked my video too. But mainly what it was was it was eight songs in the art museum in March 23rd last year. And then I went to Forbidden Drive and I recorded three more, which was 11 songs altogether. Who's Gonna Ride My Wild Horses by U2. So that was nine U2 songs. One, one by the ones that I actually used. One by uh, uh, Aerosmith, which was the 10th song, three different artists, and then the 11th song was Scorpion, Send Me an Angel, Here I Am in the Land of the Morning Star. So that was 11 songs, 11 songs, and 9, 10, 11, three different artists, U2, Aerosmith, and Scorpion. So not only was it in the art museum, but it was also in Forbidden Drive. Not only was it U2, but it was also Scorpion and Aerosmith. All right, so there's 11 songs recorded through time, traveling 30 plus years ago, meeting me at that exact moment. The shadow was a perfect timing to just really drive my point home. And I don't even know how I even figured it out. It just progressed. So that was 11 songs. This time, it's 11 songs in the art museum. But seven different artists, not including you two, which makes it eight artists, 
eight separate artists on February 17th, 2024, just like it was eight songs the first time around. Eight and eight. The first time around total, before I went to the art museum two days ago, was 11 different songs and eight songs were in the art museum and they were all by YouTube. This time around, there's eight different artists in the art museum, 11 songs. It took me, I uploaded 28 videos since two days ago and uh, I believe all 11 songs on Stephen James Deshaun's birthday to give him a, a little nice little birthday present because regardless of who you are let's just say you're Lucifer in the flesh well here you go Lucifer here's your gift 11 songs and 8 different artists so all together there's there's U2 which is the first it's almost as if Bono was like, because this time around, I was going to use you again all the way through. But it's like you subcontracted out my, my footage to other kings of the earth. Because I can't just keep using you. It, you're, it's like you're not even trying to be selfish with it. So the AI algorithm is what transferred over. There's Again, I just pushed record all the way through. I didn't pause it once. So all the imagery that lines up is after commercials are playing, going into another room, and it lines up again and again and again. Somebody said I'm a psychosis or psychiatric, need psychiatric help or whatever. Like, that's fine. There's only two reasons why you would say that. One, because you're an agent. Oh, no, no, there's three. One, because you're an agent and you're blind and you're just hired, told to say it. Two, you're an agent, you're not blind, you can see it, and you're like part of the demons that are frightened to death because you're being tormented before your time. Or three, you simply just can't see it because there's a veil over your spiritual eye that doesn't allow you to believe or comprehend that any of this is even possible. It's possible because it's, not only is it possible, but it is. It's the truth that's happening, this is what's going on, I'll continue to show what I what I'm seeing and um, some people may see it and hop aboard and become part of uh, Robin's hood truly or you won't it's no skin off my back it's like whatever I just need to show and be faithful to God and show what I'm seeing so uh, this time around my faith told me that I was going to do that. And I was thinking before I even said anything, I'm thinking it would be nice if Steve Benoom would get up and do a video about faith because that's the main topic. February 17, 2024 was about faith. That's why I recorded it. I, I wanted to make sure that you're hearing it come out of my mouth before I step into the art museum. I'm giving you the time, the date, and I'm going to let it play all the way through. Now, it was it was cut into two different sections because the X app only went for like 40-something minutes. And I'm in the middle of the sixth song, which was Verve. And I always wanted to do that video, too, because I it reminded me of him just walking through. He's not being ignorant, knocking into people. He's just walking a straight path. And people are purposely getting in his way, and he knows it. So he's just going to walk straight through. And then, uh, he, like, in between that video is when he says he can change. That's the second portion of my video. Again, it's part two in the art museum. And um, and then it changes, and I, I appear right when he shows his face. So it's pretty funny. All right. Steve Benoon gets up. He shows a video about faith. It may have been a, a video a couple months ago, 
but um, it doesn't matter one way or another because it's the title, it's the message, and he sent it at the perfect timing. My fate told me I was going to go into art museum. I'm going to show you something that's literally, not only is it impossible, but it doesn't even exist. All right? You can't even see what I am, what's ahead of me is impossible. Number one, it's impossible. Number two, it's unseen. Number three, it's unheard of. All right? All three of those, impossible, unseen, unheard of. My faith told me, don't even, you're going to see something. God's going to orchestrate it. He's going to put it together. You're going to go in and just push record and show certain art footage try to you know try to keep it on on certain art arts longer this time that way it gives the ones that are orchestrating the videos from 30 plus years ago or however long all you're doing is catching up with them and letting trying to make it a little bit easier in in the imagery so it can line up so i go in for the second time with my faith telling me that I am going to see, as I said before I walked into the art museum, I'm going to see imagery line up from YouTube. Not that I knew that it was going to drift off into seven other kings instead of just the eighth one, Bono, YouTube. It's going to go, number one, it's going to go with YouTube. Then it's going to go with Duran Duran. Then it's going to go with The Cure. Then it's going to go with The Verve. Then it's going to go with Maisie Star. Then it's going to go with The Cranberries. Then it's going to go with Mr. Mister. Then it's going to go with The Pesh Mode. So now there's eight in that alone, eight artists, just like there was eight songs the first time when I went in the art museum. All of them were by YouTube. This time around, there's eight artists, 11 songs. Before I went to the art museum, I recorded 11 songs total. Scorpion and Aerosmith was the other two. So this time around, there's eight artists, along with Scorpion, along with Aerosmith. There's your 10 Kings right there. 10 Kings is these rock bands that are well-known, throughout history. You've heard of them. Everybody's heard of Mr. Mr. Broken Wings, haven't you? Depeche Mode. Enjoy the Silence. You've heard of that song. You heard of the Cranberries. Let it linger. Do you have to? Do you have to? Do you have to? Let it linger. Maisie Star, Fade Into You. When I looked at you, I saw nothing until I seen so something. The Cure, Just Like Heaven, is another one. And Duran Duran, Come Undone, another one. And The Verve, which is the Sweet Symphony. And then, you know, you also got Aerosmith. Everybody knows Aerosmith. And everybody knows the Scorpions, especially the Scorpions. <laughs> Y'all know the Scorpion. Send me an angel, and then so here I am in the land of the morning star. I recorded that on March 29th, 2023. Six days after I recorded eight songs of Surrender by U2 himself in the art museum. Oh, eight days after. No, six days. Yeah, six. Because Derek Bros got up eight days after to do the art museum footage. So it took me 28 hours from the time I went to the art museum on February 17, 2024. It took me 28 hours to put together 28 videos. And I made it easy this time around and I flew through it because I'm my eyes are 
and I can see them see things a lot clearer now. It's a little different this time around. It's more subtle because the serpent is more subtle than all the other beasts of the field. It's not as obvious with the way that things are lining up, but they're more subtle because a lot of it was mirror imaged. It was opposite. It, it was from as above, so below, as it as in if it was a mirror from top to bottom. A lot of imagery is like that. Even the verb when I first started in the art museum, as soon as I start that that spot, right right when uh, the he bumps into the lady because she's in his way. This black guy that was, it's like he did a dart right towards me, exactly what everybody was doing to the dude in the verve. I gotta, I gotta learn everybody's names now because you guys took the time to, to use my footage from, I don't know how many years ago you made those videos. So, uh, you know, it's, it's only fair that I get to know the people that that have admired my uh, my faith and um, so he darts out and I didn't let him cut in front of me because that's what he was trying to do so I cut in front of him and then you see him on my left side of the shoulder when he when the verve bangs into that lady then when the other lady brushes his shoulder he hops over to the other side of my shoulder and then back to the other side it's so funny and it was more like as he's knocking into people it's just going by my my video how it there's a sharp movement to it all right so 28 songs 28 hours my faith tells me that i'm gonna win the lottery as well and it's not because i'm let's see one point million lives in here is that a lottery now it's not because I'm money hungry or I love money money actually makes me sick because of what it does to people and because it's my seventh year coming up on YouTube and I just demonstrated something that again it's impossible it's unheard of and it's whatever other thing I said it was un something or another it's unheard of right you can't ha, is there anybody on YouTube or in the entire world that anybody else is talking about that has a YouTube channel and they claim that they can travel through time they don't just claim it but they show footage of very famous rock bands is there anybody else on the planet because maybe you can be somebody else on the planet. Maybe it's not just me. Maybe you can go into your art museum in your city and go around and record the art, the imagery, and and then whoever, whatever band you're playing, is gonna is gonna take your footage and use your footage from 30 plus years ago or 10 or 20 it doesn't really matter how long ago a video was made maybe it's not just me but maybe I'm the one that started the um, you know the recognition of being able to travel through time that way and maybe you can do it yourself and it isn't just me but right now it's just me doing it unless other people do it and then they make videos and I'll tell you if you put your image imagery up on your videos side by side I'll look at it and I'll be able to see it and I won't say no nah, that's not it because I, I want to be the only one to be able to do it no if it's not just me and it's everybody but nobody knows it well I'm gonna tell you yo that's lining up with you too you're part of it but I don't know of anybody that's ever done it so it looks like it's just me for now but either way even if it is other people and they just don't know it yet I would just be the father of that that it's a creation of time travel as a human being on earth because it's not like the, the bands that took my footage don't know who I am because they used me from 
in the past, I'm just now catching up to him as a human being. You, your moves. What did what did the cure say? He said, "I I'm fall, I I fell in love with you, right?" As he's climbing up on the top of the mountain, looking directly down at me in my video when I'm showing it, because your moves are just like heaven. It's mo It's like I get the move just like heaven, but yet I'm on earth. That's why I'm bringing it down here to earth because heaven is a heaven is a sure it, it it can be a literal land somewhere but in the meantime while you're on the earth and you're alive in flesh form heaven is throughout the airwaves something that I can produce and show you as in a heavenly realm but it's only if you have a desire to see it and your faith believes it because if not Everything I said for 31 minutes, if you're still listening and you're an agent assigned to my channel and you just can't see it, you don't want to believe it, it ain't that it's not true. It's just the fact that Satan still has a veil over your eyes and you don't want to believe it. You may be one of those people that don't believe it and you're like, you know what? I'm going to go into my art museum and I'm going to do the same thing. Watch, Robin. I'm going to prove to you that none of this is real. And then all of a sudden, you'll see videos lining up with your own footage, too. I will be the first one to examine it and say, absolutely, you're part of it. Or, nah, it's kind of like the song, uh, Maisie Star. When I looked at you and I saw nothing, but I wanted the, but I wanted the truth. You know, in her video, I, did, I seen like maybe three things that were... It, the very last second a cross lined up. That's it. Really. That's truly it. But in the meantime, that whole video may have been... The whole point may have been... We purposely didn't line anything up until the very last second just to see if we can see the truth in you that you're not just going to go around oh that, that lines up this line look 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 that lines up no if you can't see anything lining up then you can't then nothing's lining up but you're going to see the truth the truth is I didn't see anything line up and you even said I looked at you and I saw nothing so next I want to get all the songs and all the words and I want to study the words to the videos as I'm going through the art museum too because you can hear the words but you can't you can't always understand what they mean so there you have it 28 songs 28 videos in 28 hours because I was done yesterday on Stephen James Deshaun's 58th birthday according to the script I believe he's 57, uh, 58. I produced 11 of those songs, all 11 songs, because I did two of them early in the morning, one, two o'clock in the morning. I, I went from beginning to end, all throughout the day, February 17th. I started with the first song. I made it to nine songs, February 18th, early in the morning. I was able to do the uh, the eleventh song. Or wait, I recorded all of them. Then I then I broke them down. So I got all the songs finished on the all eleven songs uploaded and finished on February 17, twenty twenty four. Early in the morning, I went from since I went from beginning to end. I went from end to beginning. So I started with. Depeche, Depeche Mode, Enjoy the Silence, showing you that at 3.30, at the very beginning of the video, about a minute in, he took his seat. It was 3.30, he had his crown on. So I show you the similarity of how my eyes make a circle. From beginning to end, I started at 3.30 on 3.23.2023 to record eight songs. This time around, I record... After I, or 
eight, eight songs and then 11 of them all together, including the Scorpion song, including the, including the three other songs inside of the Forbidden Drive. So that was 11 songs all together. And then I produced 11 more. All right. 11 more. I produced 11 songs. All eight of them were songs of surrender on 323, 2023. Then I went into the Forbidden Drive and I produced Who's Gonna Ride My Wild Horses? And I produced uh, Dream On by Aerosmith. And then, which was 10. And then I produced the Scorpion song, Semi and Angel, which was 11. 11 songs were produced, eight of them were in the art museum, which was Bono, eight of them, and it was three different artists, so 11 songs. And then I go to the art museum two days ago, and I produced another 11 more songs. There was a couple more that played. U2 played a couple other songs, that, but I, I didn't, I was just passing through, so I wasn't counting them. It's the 11 that I broke down because they were all full songs. I wanted to produce full songs and not the skip ones. So now there was 11 of them and eight of them were, was, was from U2. Um, the first time in the art museum, this time there's eight artists, 11 songs. Before there was eight songs, it was U2, all of them in the art museum. Up until two days ago, I produced 11 songs all together, three different artists, Aerosmith, Scorpion, and U2. This time around, you got those three kings, and then you got seven more. Because you got, you got The Cure, Just Like Heaven, you got Duran Duran, Come Undone, then you got Maisie Star, Fade Into You, Verve, Sweet Symphony, Symphony, Cranberries, Let It Linger, Mr. Mister, Broken Wings, and Depeche Mode, Enjoy the Silence. Ten Kings. Ten Kings. I heard Cain was trying to offer up to God his uh, sacrifice, but Abel's sacrifice, because his blood was crying out from the earth, because Cain killed Abel. Abel's sacrifice was more acceptable to God, because he was sacrificing a he was sacrificing a lamb. It's like he was sacrificing himself. Cain was sacrificing the old tree of life. Here, take it back, God. I don't want this little thing. I'm going to grow my own. In that sense, too, Abel was killed by Cain. The timing of everything is impeccable. It's unbelievable. I, it's just... I don't even know how I do it. It just happens. It's like a dream. It truly is. Only dreamland can line up with things so perfectly. It's. But that's what God is. God is... Is a spirit. And it's, it's as if it's a dream. What do you think heaven is? Once you get to heaven out of the flesh... All your desires, everything you've ever wanted to do, you can create it as you think it. Just like the people in that show, Afterlife. These people are telling you what they already experienced, acting like, you know, they haven't died yet and went to the other side and came back. And, you know, I mean, come on. Satan was in heaven and he got cast out. It's like all these angels fell from heaven and they got cast out. Which means you go to heaven. You're here on earth. You're stuck in the flesh right now. Until you get there. So until I get there, I'm going to bring it down here. And I'm doing that through the kings of the earth. The top. Absolute top. 
kings of the earth are going to be the ones that well they can do whatever they want right they're rock stars they're not only rock stars but they're also sports stars and movie stars are they all separate or are they all lucifer is lucifer behind every single rock band is he lucifer is every single rock band lucifer and can he play all the instruments is he a band where he's one person but he'll branch out into four and then he'll become one band over here and then he'll be another person and branch out into four he'll be the singer the bass player the pianist the, the drummer and then he puts all things together and then he appears at a show as, as a hologram as he's all things or is it truly separate people well regardless I'm going to go with separate people I'm going to say it's time to be stalled before I get to work that's just what I'm going to say I, I've, you know but also I'm also honored at these things because in the art museum they obviously already knew what I was going to do before I did it that's why the gang saw corporation it doesn't bother me anymore because it's just a way of saying hello Robin hi hey hey Robin hey hi 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 Robin because they're saying hi to me all the time and what did Steve Benoon say the bride is on his way remember that one Remember, that, remember when he said the bride is on his way? He's riding in his truck. Because it's the X app. It's Planet X is on its way. I mean, it's already here. They go and meet meet the, the bride's groom. They meet him first. And it has everything to do with Genesis too. It also has to do with a seventh day rest like the uh, Powerball the stone rejected my faith tells me I'm gonna win that lottery and it's a way of just sealing the deal of my faith demonstrating it to the world <laughs>